So this video is a tutorial on BSC Scan if you've launched through WeLaunchIt. So WeLaunchIt is a free token deployer. Afterwards, you've set your parameters. You may want to make some tax changes or wallet changes. I'm going to go through all the functions in the contract and exactly how to operate it so you know exactly what to do after launch. So all we would need to do is connect our wallet. So this is your deployer wallet or the one you've launched through. I'm going to start off with the... Um, the marketing tax and also the max wallets because that's what most people want to change first and the rest I'll talk about all the other functions so if you notice all contracts are the same on we launch it on BSC and Ethereum this whole tutorial applies to both chains and it's 18 decimals so that means we have to put 18 zeros in the end so if we want our tax to be 1% we would type 1 and 18 zeros and write the function so I want to do 2% max wallet and I'm going to take 18 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now that will make our max wallet 2%. And probably the easiest way to do it once you've done 18 is just copy and paste the number. So let's say we want our max transaction 1 and a half. So you take that zero off and you put 1.5 now. And we write the transaction. And again, copy and paste that. Now we want to go through the tax changes. Tax change, update the marketing tax. So let's say we want our buy tax to be lower. You can put in zero or you can put 1%. Let's go with 1.5. And I've scanned the contract. I have added liquidity, but the, the buy limit doesn't show up properly, etc. So we've got our buy tax. And you'd obviously double check it with honeypot.is if you want to do that so we've got our buy limit in now which is correct it's 1.5 percent and you can go ahead and refresh that and we're going to do some tax changes now so let's say we want the lp tax to be really high so we want five percent now so what i'm going to do is five five percent let's take that so that will be five percent 18 zeros and five Likewise, if we want our buy tax, we can do the same with that. So let's just put, let's copy and paste this number. And let's write that. So this should put our tax really high, not really high, but it should put our tax up. Once it goes through the transaction, always double check so you don't make a mistake. So now we've got 577 seven now, yeah? And that's pretty much what you do in it. So let's go through the other functions. Obviously the buy tax and sell tax is separate. So what you want to do is go through everything and make sure you've done it correctly. So approve. This is just functions in the contract. Obviously, if you want to renounce your ownership, you click right. There is another way to do it, but you can just click confirm and it will give you a transaction on BSC scan. So you can show that to your community. Exclusion from fees. If you have a staking contract, I run a staking platform. So people come to me for staking. I can go here. I would give you my staking contract. My link is in the description if you want to get in touch. Go ahead and put the staking contract or if you're building a utility or you've made your own staking, you need to exclude it from fees. There are no fees with our contract. Our tank transfer tax is zero. The only tax is obviously the tax. So what you want to do if you want to exclude that from fee or wallet, you put the word true in. No capital letters and you'd write it. And you just click confirm. Now, if you want to make it false or basically switch it off, you just put the same method, same wallet, and then click confirm. Um, same with exclusion from max wallet, you put the word true. And exclusion from wallet limit, exclusion from transaction limit means it's exempt from these transaction limits um, that are there. So if you have done that, that wallet can sell and buy essentially without limits. And that's very alarming if you do do that as a dev or you've let one of your friends buy a, you know, more than a max wallet. And that's pretty much how you do it. Obviously, if you want to switch it off, false. Remember, no capital letters. Transfer, this is just functions in the contract. Now, if you want to transfer your ownership, let's say I've deployed this for a friend or a partner and I'm away for a few weeks, I might just say, look, I want to send you the ownership so you can operate it or if you're struggling, etc. This may, if you send ownership, you do not own the contract or that wallet does not. You can send it to yourself. I've done it many times. I've sent, I've transferred it um, from wallets that are on different mobiles of mine. You put the wallet address here and you just click right. 
and that's pretty much it these are the tax changes so remember this is the dev buy tax sell tax dev um, this is the dev wallet so let's say I want to change or I brought in the partnership and we're going half on the community or the dev wallet sorry you just put the ownership wallet there and you'd write it that's new that's where the tax will go the dev wallet that's already set on uh, we launch it however obviously if you want to make changes afterwards this is the marketing sell tax and this is the marketing wallet this is probably one of the most important wallets because most of the tax goes there so if you do want to change it you obviously put the wallet in there and click right remember this contract is unruggable in a sense there's no trading off button there's no blacklist function you can't put your max wallet below a certain amount so let's say i want to put it to a really low amount so no one can sell you'll get this error here and you won't be able to write it even if you click confirm or you understand it will cancel the transaction so it's very safe there's no way to rug this contract and you need to be telling your community if they're asking for renounce this is a safe contract there's nothing we can do likewise with the tax let's say we want to put the tax up to 99 percent you can't do that the maximum you can put the tax to um, let's say we want to put the max marketing wallet to 15%. There's other tax as well. If we try to do that, the tax can't exceed on buys 15% and on sales 15%. So the maximum tax you can do is 30% total. So 15 buy and sell. And to be honest, there's no more need for any tax higher than that, I would say. So this contract is very safe, free to deploy. Also, all the sales of the contract every cell you get marketing lp and dev tax as well so if you've got any questions go into the description there's a telegram link i'll be happy to support and so will my team